Hi everyone, it is Patrice from Teresa's Crafty Life. I've been having fun using the Round Trip Collection. And so I actually made this flip book and it's made out of envelopes. And it's that oldie but a goodie technique where you use three envelopes and you glue them together to make this flip book. So I wanna go ahead and share how I made this. Please leave a comment below if you're interested in seeing a craft with me. I also recorded myself making this flip book. So if you're interested, it's kind of long, but leave a comment down below. So this flip book is made using three pink envelopes and I went ahead and I matted each envelope with gold and then a pattern paper from the collection. So here is one of the cut aparts that says, wherever we go, let's go together. And I thought it was very fitting with this uh, travel theme paper in the back. So it has different cities. I added an airplane, a flower, and added some gemstones in the middle, and then added the sticker travel. So in this flipbook, I tried my best with using mostly everything from the collection, just to show that we can use a very minimal products and creating projects and use what we have. So here it flips inside. So this is what the middle looks like. I had so much fun creating this. It took me a couple days, but I'm a slow crafter, so I like to create, you know, one panel and then I'll come back and work on the other. And so here, I added some sequins here at the top, and then this envelope is from the collection. And I added this ephemera piece, my favorite place, on top of the butterfly. And then you open it up and I added some stickers here. And here are some ephemera pieces clustered together and added the thickers uh, lovely here. And then inside, I just embellished a, a cut apart. So this looks like a ticket in the background. And then I added this um, cut apart that says, remember this. So this is like a full 12 by 12 sheet that I cut down and added on top of here. Added this sticker and smile and then added some more gemstones in the corner. And also, uh, what's fun about flipbooks is that you can create them in many different styles. And so what I did is I scored the middle of each envelope. That way I can have um, some layers if I want. So it looks like this on the sides. Um, because if you don't score it, um, the envelope has a hard time kind of closing like as far as the flipbook. And so... I left this panel open, so if you do not glue, you know, the envelope, um, this is open. So I have um, a piece in here, so it's a part of the uh, ephemera set, and I added this sticker going places, and then I added a um, coffee cup here, and so it fit perfectly on this piece. And you can just tuck it inside. So I've done this flipbook of multiple different styles um, back in the day. And this is actually so much fun. I want to um, make some more in the future. Um, so I've done it before where all the panels were open. But just for this flipbook, only this side is open. So here in the center is the airplane paper. And I just clustered a lot of the tags that was in the cut apart. 12 by 12 cut apart page in the 12 by 12 paper pad. And then I added this ephemera piece back here. This suitcase sticker was actually a clear sticker that I backed onto pink paper and cut it out. Here is a flower ephemera with a gemstone in the middle. And then I added this twine. This was from the Dollar Tree that matched well with this collection. And then added this sticker adventure. Here on this page, I actually used some crepe paper to embellish this, and I just ruffled it up. Um, I added glue in the center so it stays together, and then I added some glitter here on the edge to give it some texture. And this is one of the ephemera pieces from the collection that says travel. And so what I did is I folded it up just slightly, and then I added glue here in the center so it stays, but it has dimension there. And then I added this um, large floral piece just to tone down um, this pattern paper. Although I still wanted a lot of the um, paper to show. And then I added the thickers Let's Go. And then this 
binoculars here. So then it folds like this and here I wanted to embellish it but keep it simple enough to show the pattern. Um, so I really like this pattern paper, it's one of my favorites. And then I added a couple embellishments on top of each other. So this postage, this um, beach scene, and then I added this ephemera for beautiful, just in regards to the picture and the flowers. And then at last, here's the back. I kept it simple. I added this like map frame set and this picture from the 12 by 12 cut apart sheet and then this ephemera set that's lovely. It was actually a little larger, so I cut it down. And that's one great thing about flipbooks is we're able to use the bigger ephemera pieces that sometimes it's hard to use and we can um, just create clusters. And then this thicker bow set. Let me go ahead and give you the measurements of the envelope just so you have a good idea of what this size is. The envelopes are four and a quarter by five and a half. So let me know what your thoughts are down below. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, bye.